Hey everyone, welcome to Money Wirework, and today I'm going to be talking about SPY and Bitcoin using the one week time frame, and I'm also going to be using the Heiken Ashi candles. First, I just wanted to talk about today uh, something that I talked about yesterday. So, yesterday I said that SPY could potentially continue this upward trend up until it hits the moving averages. Um, I still believe that we could probably just push right through the 50 moving average and hit the 100 or 200 moving average, but we'll track it and see what it's doing. So if you don't know what the Heiken Ashi candles are, basically it takes the average of the current candle and the previous candle to make a new candle. So it essentially smooths out the trend uh, so you can see the momentum a little bit better. Um, so if we're looking at today, we go up to the weekly. And then we turn on the Heiken Ashi candles, you'll see it start to smooth out a little bit. So right now we have a current downtrend and I'm gonna turn this channel on real quick. I've been tracking the SPY using this channel. It is not quite out of the channel yet. And as you can see, even if you pop out of the channel, it doesn't necessarily mean that there's gonna be a reversal. Um, I think we also saw that back, if we go back to 20, 2008, there was a channel coming down here. This still broke the channel. It actually bumped up over the moving averages um, and still continue to go back down. So it is something you have to watch. What Really what you wanna do is watch for a new channel to be created. Um, if we're looking at SPY though, it is a pretty strong uptrend on this candle right here. It is something to pay attention to. If you start to see a bounce up through this red moving average right here, and you start to see the TSI turn blue, that is something that you could scale into. Um, it's something to watch. You can put a tight stop loss on it until you start to really see validation. And you want to see something come up, bounce back down to a higher low, and then continue up. And on that bounce is what you want to continue to go up on. If we're looking at uh, spy we zoom out even more into the monthly you want to kind of track your previous recessions right so right now I'll turn this off quick right now if we're looking at spy compared to the 2008 crisis and compared to the dot-com bubble we have a lot to go yet so my personal opinion we'll see what happens but my personal opinion is we do have some more downside to come whether it's going to be as severe as this, I don't know. Um, it, it all depends on inflation. A lot of people are saying that the Fed is already turning dovish or turning uh, neutral. I disagree with that. What people are referring to when they talk about that is they're referring to the, the interest rates slowing as far as increasing rates. However, they're still increasing rates. It's kind of similar to as if gas goes up from three dollars to four dollars but then after that it goes up another 25 cents that you're suddenly seeing a, a downturn which i don't think is the case um i would still consider the, the the fed to be hawkish at this point because they're not done raising interest rates yet so in my opinion um you know if you really want to place something like this the benefit of spy is over time it continues to go back up right so you could start scaling in here and then reap the benefits here now keep in mind if you did that back in 2000 the dot-com bubble it's going to take you a long time to break even if you did it with something like 2008 you bought all this all the way down yeah it took some time to get back but it was a lot quicker than 2008 so I'm still the firm believer is I'm going to wait until we get over these moving averages to really start to scale in. However, there's nothing wrong with trading in a short term perspective right here because look at how SPY reacts. Red all the way down with a few green candles in between and then on started as it approached these moving averages, you started to just see a solid streak of green. If you start to see that solid streak, you know, after two, three Heikinashi candles, uh, green Heikinashi candles, you might want to start considering scaling in. It's all personal opinion. It depends on your risk, right? Because the lowest risk is going to be right here. The lowest risk is going to be right here. In 2020, when we had COVID crash, the lowest risk is going to be this first Heikinashi candle right here. 
because we're already over these moving average lines and now you're up over one, two, three, four, five moving average lines. Um, I want to actually just kind of talk about Bitcoin for a second um, because I am also tracking Bitcoin. So this is the monthly right now. So if you're looking at uh, Bitcoin on the monthly, there really isn't a significant um, indication of turning around anytime soon. But if you go to the weekly, you do see this one Heikinashi candle right here, but it's followed by a doji candle. So a doji candle is uh, a weak candle. You don't really want to consider that as something that's moving in the direction you want it to go. Um, you want to kind of watch and see. A, a big rule of thumb that people trade the Heikinashi candles is two strong uh, candles in the direction that you are looking for it to go before you start to enter a position. Uh, it, doji candles often sim, uh, symbolize a return or a, 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 a reversal. Um, so if you see something like this, so we have this green uptrend started to come back down. Doji candle signaled a reversal to go back up. So this doji, then you're waiting for this candle and then you enter it enter either on this candle or this candle here. Um, if we take a look at Bitcoin on the one day, and if you were to compare this to SPY um, on the one day as well, you're going to see that SPY has a lot more of a price action change. So it looks like people that are trading SPY and trading this reversal are waiting on Bitcoin. However, if you look at Ethereum, you're gonna see a lot stronger change in direction. So maybe it's something you wanna watch as far as Ethereum. Um, there is a lot more volatility, it's a smaller cap, so naturally that's what you're gonna see. Um, if you like this uh, video and you wanna see more content, please like, subscribe, comment, I really appreciate it, thank you.